No Hard Feelings is the new R-rated raunchy comedy now in theaters. And I saw it, and I'm going to tell you about it right now. But let me just start by saying the last time I was this impressed with Jennifer Lawrence was in 2014's The Fappening. No Hard Feelings is an hour and 43 minutes long. Could have been shaved down to about an hour and a half, and I think this thing would have moved real smooth, real nice. As it stands, pretty solid comedy. A rom-com for a new generation. It's been a long time since we've had one of these come out, at least that I can recall, with any real merit behind it. This has that kind of 90s feel to it. A little bit of American pie thrown in for good measure. It definitely has an old school feel to it though, both in terms of the tone of the jokes to the fact that it's basically a carbon copy of every single rom-com that's ever been created ever. I'm not gonna go into spoilers. I'll just say if you've seen any of these types of movies before, you know exactly what to expect from this format. And that's not a bad thing. It's following a solid foundation and it's doing it pretty damn well. I've been saying for many years, Jennifer Lawrence is a treasure. When she's in interviews, when she's doing hosting events, she's always funny as hell. And I kept thinking, why is she not in comedies? She's ripe for it. And someone was obviously listening or possibly had the same idea. I, I find that hard to believe. I think that there's just people out there that haven't subscribed to this channel and are secretly watching it, but the numbers aren't going up. Something's happening. There's conspiracy theories amongst myself and no one else. Regardless of that, she was perfectly cast here. And I think the guy that plays her uh, love interest, which is kind of creepy to say, does a good job too. Andrew Barth Feldman plays Percy. Barth? His middle name is Barth? That's, well, that's unfortunate. He's about to head off to an Ivy League college and his parents are incredibly concerned about this kid because he hasn't come out of his shell. He's isolated to his bedroom. He's just playing Mortal Kombat and beating his meat all day. Doesn't actually know what a real woman looks like if it hit him in the face with her tits. So they do what any well-adjusted multi-millionaire family would do. They put out an ad for a lady of the evening to show their son a good time, get to know him, get him out to parties, get him drinking, get him doing drugs, a little bit of debauchery here and there, just a little to tickle his fancy. And of course, pop that cherry. If you think I'm speaking too crass, then this movie's not for you because it's a little bit more vulgar than I'm making it out. No, it's not over the top with the swearing. There's nothing too extreme by any means. It doesn't go as hard as American Pie, but I would say it's just a notch under that. There is nudity, there is swearing, there is some sexual acts. Again, not as hard as American Pie, but I thought it was a good time. I really enjoyed this one. And it is thankfully under two hours. Again though, I would have shaved it even a little tighter. Get it to that perfect hour and a half. Because as it stands, there are some jokes that just don't really need to be there. Two specifically I can think of. One where Jennifer Lawrence is just going up some stairs on roller skates and they hold this for a while, but Lawrence isn't really doing anything that comedically exciting. She's not Jim Carrey flailing around, falling down the stairs, John Wick style. No, just a little awkward and uncomfortable but doesn't really have a punchline. Another one can be seen where uh, the kid is packing some suitcases and this goes on for quite a while. And I'm just thinking this actor is not funny in the slightest. He's more of a jumping off point for other characters to be funny. So watching him struggle and try to do his own shtick, not really working. The visuals are great. It's got a nice summertime theme to it with beach houses, the ocean. It's a very welcoming comedy. It's a place you want to spend some time with. And the characters, the supporting actors, they all do a good job. Oh, I'm itching my rib while I'm talking. Oh, the movie's great. Uh, it's really good. I liked it a lot. All right, I gotta go to the doctors. I think the budget for this movie was 45 million, which seems pretty high for a comedy. Obviously not Barbie levels, which reached 100 million. Although I saw the box office and this thing's only pulling in 15 to 20 million opening weekend, which is not a good sign. I'd like this movie to succeed. I want them to understand that comedies are still valuable. I know it's hard to get people to go to the theaters now, unless it's for some reason James Cameron's Avatar 2, but please go see this film if you have any desire. And yes, I think a big problem is people have been primed to assume this stuff's gonna go straight to streaming. I will tell you, there is a big quality jump between No Hard Feelings and something you will find on Netflix for the most part, or Peacock, or Hulu, or Paramount Plus. Most of that stuff is garbage. 
They're the equivalent of movies that used to go to Blockbuster at the top shelf or the bottom shelf. They were the movies that weren't Twister. They were called Tornadoes, the ripoff movies, the ones that don't have the budget. They might have the star power, but they're just cashing a check. This is a legit movie. It belongs in the theaters, regardless of what people might be telling you. So go support it, go out and see it. I like this one, it's a good time. Maybe you already saw it, and I would love to hear below in the comments. So post one, tell me, say, Adam, I like this movie, you're right, it was spot on. Or maybe you were in the opposite camp and you thought this was a bad film and Jennifer Lawrence shouldn't do comedy, she should just be in Hunger Games movies for the rest of her life. Let me know, like the video if you had some fun. Please subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie content each and every week. Would love to have you stick around. If you're not a subscriber type person, and you just like checking things out once in a while, I understand. I get it. There's no hard feelings. <laughs> Come on.